Tesla and Panasonic are doing something really interesting that I think they should be taught in our junior college system, offering our young adults a great path to our electric vehicle future. So what happened? Before I get started, this is Armin Haryan, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. So Tesla battery supplier Panasonic announced yesterday that it intends to build a new campus in Reno that will handle training, research and development, employee recruitment centers, and other support functions. It is located just 25 miles away from Gigafactory, Nevada, where Tesla builds battery cells, Model 3 electric motors, and battery packs, along with energy storage products. Panasonic announced the new building located at 645 East Plum Lane yesterday. It will be just under 95,000 square feet and will supplement the company's involvement in the growth of electric vehicle industry. It was first reported by Inside EVs. Our new facility in Reno underscores our commitment to involving and growing to stay at the forefront of the mobility market, President of Panasonic Energy of North America said, investing in innovation and workforce initiatives in the local communities supports our mission of creating a future powered by sustainable energy. Well, this is what he said, and this is why I said that what Tesla and Panasonic are doing should be taught in junior colleges so that younger people know more about electric mobility and electric vehicles and learn how to make different things related to electrification of mobility. The announcement of Panasonic comes seven years following Panasonic announced it would produce lithium-ion batteries at Gigafactory in Nevada in Sparks, Nevada, just 25 miles east of the new facility. While operating at Gigafactory 1 will continue, Pena intends to take advantage of the Reno location to expand local engineering capacity and talent acquisition and upsky, upskilling, further propelling its position in the electric vehicle market. Panasonic wrote about the acquisition of the property. In September 2020, Panasonic announced that it would increase operations at Gigafactory Nevada, preparing for a massive ramp that would expand the company's presence at the plant. The expansion will increase our staffing by about 100 positions, Panasonic said, and added that we are excited to continue our investment in the Northern Nevada community and our people here. Carl Walton, Vice President of Production, Engineering and Facilities of Panasonic State, Panasonic reported in its quarter 3 2021 earnings call that it had expanded global capacity for electric vehicle battery manufacturing to 50 gigawatt hour. Panasonic builds around 37 gigawatt hour of 2170 cylindrical cells at Gigafactory in Nevada alone. Well, friends, what do you think about this? Do you think Tesla and Panasonic, uh, what they do should be taught in junior colleges and that more people need to learn what it involves to building electric vehicles? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below or if you have any concerns or questions. I go over them and I read them. So we have always good discussions. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. God bless you, everyone. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. A lot of people complain about the speed of Tesla Giga Berlin for Germany. But I want to make one point, fair point for Germany and in defense of Germany. For Germany, Tesla Giga Berlin was lightning fast. I read one tweet today by a Twitter user BFIN Alka, and um, I will have uh, that tweet on, on your screen, who says for Germany, this, meaning Tesla Giga Berlin, was lightning fast. It was not a nightmare that some people think it was a nightmare, but normal procedure for Germany. It may have been unexpected for some not familiar with how the German process usually works, including it may have been unexpected, including for Elon Musk, Tesla CEO. Nevertheless, Tesla set an example on speed, otherwise will uh, want to follow. Now, if you compare Tesla Giga Berlin's process with Germany's, I mean, uh, Berlin's airport, 
which was not functional for 10 years and look tesla giga berlin since the day of announcement it's been already two years and tesla giga berlin started the construction very quickly and uh, it's nearing the final permit already as i reported this morning hopefully germany will do something by the end of this year within a week but it is unlikely and tesla giga berlin may start the production in january or february but again for germany what we have seen happening at tesla giga berlin was a lightning fast speed if you compare this with other uh, things that germany has done or other companies that have come to germany like i said um, because i've been following tesla giga berlin for already two years and reporting some weeks every day and some weeks only maybe two three stories from giga berlin but as i'm looking at what was happening i see that germany has a normal process now for us in the united states it may seem like a red tape bureaucracy and so on but look, maybe Germany has this red tape and uh, this due process. That's why we all say, oh, German quality, German, uh, everything in Germany is, is good, good quality, good engineering and so on. Maybe this is how you achieve this. Now, I see the Tesla gig of Texas seems to be much much faster than giga berlin but again in germany they have their own laws it's a sovereign country they have their processes and if you want to business do business there uh, i think someone needs to respect that so what i'm saying it's a due process and nevertheless uh, tesla set an example on speed in germany for others that they may want to follow so what do you think about this friends let me know your thoughts this is armin harayan from torquenews.com by the way um this may be little unrelated but uh, Chinese electric vehicle power battery giant cattle is analyzing two locations in Poland which is next door to Kiga Berlin for a possible battery plant of up to 2 billion euros according to a report in Polish newspaper Pulse Biznesu today um, and it said that the Tesla and NIO electric vehicle battery supplier uh, cattle looked at site in Javor and Gorzo um, Velikopolski in western Poland, the report said, adding that most of the factory's output would be shipped to Germany where Tesla has its Giga Berlin factory. When asked about the matter, cattle sources said they would not comment. According to Chinese media, cattle is the largest power battery manufacturer in China, electric vehicle battery manufacturer in China, with 11.45 gigawatt hour installed in China in November and a 55% market share. According to data released earlier this month, by the Chinese Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance. So what do you think of this, friends? Do you think Tesla Giga Berlin set a good example for Germany? I think so. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for breaking discussions on Giga Berlin and Tesla and electric vehicles and EV batteries. And also give us thumbs up if you found this report helpful. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.